Hi everyone. This is my Shiro. So today I'm going to tell you the problems related to the model two. That is uniform flow in open channel. Okay. So first one, find the specific energy of the following water of the flowing water through a rectangular channel of width five meter. When the discharge is 10 cubic meter per second and depth of water is 3 meters. So specific energy is given by E equal to H plus V square upon 2G where H is equal to 3 meters, breadth is equal to 5 meters and Q equal to 10 cubic meters per second. Therefore discharge Q is equal to A into V. Therefore V equal to Q by A that is equal to 10 into 10 divided by 3 into 5 that is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, E equal to H is 3 plus V square upon 2G is V square 2 by 3 into square divided by 2 into G is 9.81 that is equal to 3.0226 meters. Next one, find the critical depth, find the critical depth and critical velocity of the water flowing through a rectangle channel of width 5 meter when the discharge is 15 cubic meters per second. So given HC, they ask you to find HC critical depth or height, how much velocity VC is equal to, critical velocity is equal to how much? Q they are given 15, meter cube, 15 cubic meters per second and breadth they are given 5 meters. Therefore HC is equal to Q square upon G that is 1 by 3. Therefore, V is critical velocity V is V C is equal to given by G into root G root of G into H C. So discharge Q equal to Q upon P that is equal to 15 divided by 5 that is 3 square 3 meters per second and critical velocity H C equal to 3 square divided by 9.81 that is 1 upon 3 that is H C equal to 0 0.972 meters. Therefore, critical velocity is equal to root of 9.81 into 0 0.972. So that comes to about 3.088 meters per second. Next one. <coughs> uh, the specific energy of a 5 meter wide rectangle channel is to be 4 newton per meter. If the rate of the flow of water through the channel is 20 cubic meters per second, determine the alternate depths of the flow. So solution, breadth is equal to 5 meters, E equal to 4 meters, Q equal to 20 cubic meters per second. When velocity is equal to Q by A, that is equal to 20 divided by H into B. So 20 divided by 5 into A h that is equal to v divided by 4 upon h we know that e is equal to h plus v square upon 2g therefore h is equal to h plus v square upon 2 into 9.81 so 4 is equal to h plus 16 divided by h square into 2 into 9.81 so therefore 4 equal to h plus 0 0.815 divided by h square so equation will be formed that is minus 4 h square plus h cube plus 0 0.815 equal to 0. Therefore h cube minus 4 h square plus 815 is equal to 0. Therefore h1 is equal to 3.947 meters and then h2 is equal to 0 0.48 meters. So if I have to solve the equation to two equations will be getting to h1 and h2. Okay. Thank you.